the hows and whys of strategic placement. I am so excited to have you here with me today. My name is Alana and I have been in Young Living for about two years and it was last summer, so this might have been eight months ago or so that I decided to actively pursue the business side, take a leap and dive in. And I am so glad I did. Young Living is all about wellness, purpose, and abundance and I am seeing uh, the many blessings that the abundance aspect of it can bring. And uh, I've seen that through the idea of strategic placement and implementing that in my team. Strategic placement has not only helped me grow as a, um, as a leader or rank up in the company, but it's also helped my team grow. And so watch this video, uh, think about it, and see if this is something that you consider doing in your team. So we're going to talk all about what strategic placement is. I'm going to talk about the benefits of doing so. You will learn how to place. And I'm going to give you some strategies too. So what is strategic placement? Well, this is when you personally enroll someone, but you're going to allow someone in your downline to sponsor them. And in order to know what that means, you need to know the terms. So let's talk enroller. Enroller is the person responsible for personally introducing a new distributor to Young Living. For instance, you have a couple friends come over, they see your diffuser, you're telling them about how you've used the oils, how it's benefited your health, they get really excited, want to jump on the oily train, and you enroll them. They enroll with your member number. You introduce them, so you are their enroller. The sponsor is the new distributor's direct upline and main support. So oftentimes, especially if you're new in the Young Living business, when you give someone your member number, you will be their enroller and their sponsor. So they will be directly under you in your downline, and you, um, you've introduced them and you've enrolled them, but you're also going to be their leader or their mentor, and that, that's kind of the differences there. But just remember, with strategic placement, you're giving up the sponsorship to someone else. So what are the benefits of doing that? Why strategically place someone? Well, if you help your team grow, you will grow. And I speak that from experience. The great thing about Young Living, or the community I've seen of people in Young Living, is more often than not, you have friends and family members, multiple friends and family members in your downline. So it's not just about me. I get more satisfaction and more excitement when I see my friends and family and team members growing up and ranking up than I do myself. And so it's so fun to see that. That's something I love about this company. The more we help our downline grow, the more we're going to grow. We're going to get, ben you know, we're going to reap the benefits and get rewarded for helping them grow. And I just love that. Now, some people do not strategically place, and that's okay. Some people believe that if you enroll them, they want to stay the sponsor. Um, the only issue I have with that is if you are actively pursuing the business and continually enrolling new members, I do not believe you can be an effective leader if you are pouring into each and every one of your members like you should be. Because if I, personally for me, if I had everyone on my front line, if I was sponsoring everyone I have personally enrolled, there is no way that I could effectively lead each one of them. It, my downline would be way too wide and it would be a big stressor to me to have to um, divide out my time and lead each one of those people. So this is where if you divide out the workload, you're not only helping yourself, you're not only helping the team member that you are allowing to sponsor this new distributor, but you're also helping that new distributor because now they have the opportunity to be led and to be mentored more than you were able to give them. So let's take a look at the compensation plan. I'm going to specifically be talking about the executive and silver ranks today. Um, if you are not familiar with this compensation plan, you absolutely need to spend some time learning the compensation plan. Otherwise, you will not know how to um, where the most money is going to come from. You're not going to know how to organize your downline. And so this is something really important. You can find this in your virtual office. If you're a Young Living member, log in to your virtual office and you'll hit distributor resources. It'll be on the bottom left-hand side. 
and I'll be talking all about the compensation plan. So real quick, let's look at executive and silver. As an executive, you need to have 4,000 OGV, and that means overall group volume. So your entire team must have ordered at least 4,000 PV that month. Now, it can't just be you ordering that. Where senior star and star, you could have ordered that 2,000 or that 500, and you would have ranked to that position. But executive requires you to have two legs that each have 1,000 overall group volume in their downline. Whereas silver, you go from, you know, executive was 4,000, you need to climb up to 10,000 for your overall group volume at silver. And those two legs that were at 1,000 when they were executive, um, when you were an executive, now need to climb up to 4,000 PV or above for that month. Now, I want to put this into an example for you. So, log into virtual office, and my favorite way of doing that is youngliving.org. Some of you have been doing youngliving.com. I know I did that for way too long, and you have to jump through several hoops to get to the login page. But the secret is, doing youngliving.org will automatically open the login page. So there's my little tip of the day. Hopefully someone learned this. <laughs> now, I am going to click on Downline Viewer. And if you choose someone in your downline to look at this, um, always go to the little yellow man. That's what I call him, the little yellow man icon to the right-hand side. So um, I am going to pretend to hypothetically be clicking on Jane. And when I click on Jane's little yellow man, a box pops up. And I have cropped this box because it gives a lot of information out. It'll have Jane's um, net name, her address, her email, phone number, the day she signed up. But I have cropped this so that you can see it shows that I am Jane's sponsor and I'm her enroller. Jane is currently executive. So as we just talked about the executive um, qualifications, she is going to be ranking up to silver at some point. That would be her next goal. And really, silver should be goal for everybody. Silver is life-changing. That's a huge goal to get to. So her goal is silver. And so let's take a look at Jane's downline. Here's my hypothetical Jane. Jane is sitting with a $9,000 overall group volume. And what we need to do is click on the plus sign to the left of Jane's name, again, this would be in your downline viewer in virtual office. And when you click on that plus sign, it's going to open up Jane's um, first level. So everyone that Jane is sponsoring, it will open up. And so I have just posted my hypothetical Betty and Max. Betty is at 4,700. Max is at 2,900. Now, if you remember the compensation plan, Jane needs to get to 10,000 overall group volume and her two most active or biggest legs that she has needs to each be at 4,000 overall group volume. So Betty's golden. Betty is above that. Betty is on fire and she's growing every month. That's great. Max is a little bit behind. He's $1,100 short of that $4,000 qualification or the 4,000 PV. So Max needs some help. Oftentimes, um, this might be somebody that has just started pursuing the business. Maybe they're a little bit newer in Young Living. Um, but I know that Max is really excited about building the business. I know that he's a great leader. I know that he's got the pedal to the metal right now, and he's working really hard. And so Jane, or me, I have just um, had some people that I'm going to sign up. I could choose to keep them directly under me, so they would. I would be sponsoring them just like I'm sponsoring Betty and Max, and that would help Jane's overall group volume, but it would not help Jane achieve silver because Max's leg is still short. So if Jane is going to sign these people up, she could consider to put them under Max and help his overall group volume, which would get the 4,000 qualification, and it would then help Jane reach the 10,000 overall group volume to achieve silver. Now, many people ask me this, why not make my team member or why not make Max the sponsor and enroller of these new people? And the reason is this, the enroller earns the sign-up bonus, 
and they also earn 25% off the first three months. Now the sign up bonus is when you sign someone up with the premium starter kit. And that is something I always encourage and recommend everyone to get. I do not want somebody to be spending a $40 membership and buying one or two oils. Chances are they are not going to be using those oils like they would be if they had the kit. I find that many times people that do that do not reorder, whereas the ones that have the kit have an arsenal of oils um, ready to go for any ailment that gets thrown their way. So that kind of went off on my little bunny rabbit trail. So I'm going to come back to strategic placement, but just be aware of that. If I, if, my, if I am Jane and I have these friends that want to jump on the oily train and I've introduced them, I'm going to get them to sign up with the premium starter kit and I'm going to get that sign up bonus and then I'm going to get 25% off of all of their orders for the first three months and that is very important. So please remember, if you have taught someone or um, if you have led them to Young Living, if you're the one that told them about it, you need to always, always be the enroller. No exceptions. Always be the enroller. The enroller is the one that earns the money early, whereas the sponsor, or in this case, maybe Max, would see the money later. And what I mean by that is after the first three months, Max or whoever the sponsor would be would then be receiving full uni-level commissions at that point. So teach me how to strategically place. Well, a new distributor enrolls directly under you. So as Jane has sent out her link, um, and let me go off on another little bunny rabbit trail here. If you do not know how to make a custom link, you need to contact your upline or your mentor because that is very important in my opinion. I have a custom link that if someone wants to sign up, I send it to them. And when they click on that link, it opens up Young Living's member sign-up, and my number is automatically um, already <coughs> written in the boxes of enroller and so They don't have to write those in. There is no room for error in case they type in a wrong digit. So that link, in my opinion, is very important, and it's very easy to do. Just contact your leader or your mentor and make sure that you get a custom link made and saved on your computer. So back to strategic placement. You have sent the link to someone and they enroll under you. And right now, because you've sent them the link um, and your number was in both the enroller and sponsor box, when that person's account becomes active in Young Living, you are shown to be that person's enroller and sponsor. And that's great because Young Living gives you a five day grace period. And that means you have five days to change the sponsor. And really, you can even change the enroller, too. I've had that happen once before where um, somebody just signed up with my number, and really, I didn't introduce them. It was a friend of mine that did. So I changed it to be, you know, my friend would be the enroller and sponsor. So just so you know, in case something like that happens, you can change the enroller. But 99% of the time that I've done this, I am just changing the sponsor. And just remember, five-day grace period to do that. And you can call or live chat. My favorite is to live chat. And when you do that, you just need to know the new distributor's member number. And you also need to choose who the sponsor is going to be. And you're going to need to know their member number. You can find both of those numbers in your downline viewer on virtual office. So when I get a hold of live chat and they come up, I will say something like this. I have a new distributor, name and number. I would like to remain the enroller, but I would like so-and-so, whose number is this, to be the sponsor. So easy, right away it's done, and if you refresh your downline viewer, you will see that the person is now in the correct position in your downline. So strategize me. I know you're thinking, okay, tell me more. I'm kind of grasping this, but Let's talk a little deeper about this. So here's again my little hypothetical Jane and her 9,000 overall group volume. And remember, she is sponsoring Betty and Max. Well, if Jane was to put the new people directly under Max, remember that would help Max um, achieve the required overall group volume in order for Jane to get silver. 
um, or to get closer to silver. But here's where the strategy really comes into play for me, and that is Max, I know Max is a good leader. I know Max is pursuing the business, and Max's goal or his next goal would be to hit executive. But in order for Max to hit executive, his overall group volume needs to be 4,000, and he needs to have two legs at 1,000. So let's open up Max's downline and see who Max is sponsoring. Max is sponsoring John and Debbie. John's at 1,200. Debbie's at 600. And John's doing great. He keeps adding people on, and there is no, I mean, he's going to just keep climbing. Debbie, maybe she's new, or maybe she's not new, but she's just decided to pursue the business side. And maybe Max knows how hard Debbie's working, too, and Jane's aware of this. And um, Jane can decide whether she wants to put her, her new enrollments directly under Max so that Max is a sponsor, or perhaps Jane says, I'm going to allow Debbie to sponsor them because Max's downline is growing. Debbie's just getting started in this. She's learned a lot. She's ready to teach. She's ready to mentor. So I'm going to allow Debbie to sponsor not my new people. If Jane decides to do that, do you see how she could uh, posit positively affect Debbie's overall group volume to get her to that 1,000 or above mark? John's already there, and it would help Max achieve executive, and then it helps Jane achieve silver. So it's this chain reaction. You've helped Debbie, who's helped Max, who's helped Jane. And so the, the only thing where you need to, I guess, um, start thinking about this is that when you do that, you do lose out on some uni-level commissions. And in order to know what that means, you need to open up that commissions, um, the compensation plan again to see, because if Jane was to have personally enrolled and sponsored, and they were directly under Jane, she would be getting 8% uni-level commission. If she puts them under max, it goes down to 5 If she puts them under, De under Debbie, she loses another one, so it goes down to 4% uni-level commission. This is something where you got to crunch those numbers and see, is it worth it? Because to me, it is more rewarding to get those people up to rank, get them up to silver, and if I have to give a little bit of my percentage away, that's worth it to me in the long run. That's something you got to think about. Now, before you strategically place, always make sure that that person is building, and if not, seek their permission. If you don't know whether or not Debbie is building or not, you absolutely need to ask for their permission. Because many people sign up for the Young Living membership, but they do so just to use for personal use, and they never create a downline. And if they don't create a downline, they don't have to deal with taxes. And so make sure that the person you're wanting um, to be a sponsor, like for instance Debbie, make sure that Debbie is okay with being a mentor and with taking on that responsibility. So again, make sure they're willing to mentor. Now, strategic Placing is not required. I've just talked about how it can lower your unit level commissions. So just keep that in mind. This is not something you have to do. Many young living people out there don't, and their, their teams are very wide, like I've said. And that's okay. It's up to you on how you want to structure your business and your downline. Now, communicating with your downline is key. Are the per you know, each person in your business, Debbie, Max, Betty, all of those people, are they pursuing it for business or are they using their account just for personal? Get to know them. Do care calls. I know that many people talk about these care calls, like Melissa Pepping talked about care calls, and I think it's brilliant. Call these people, especially if you don't know them. Get to know who they are. Find out what their goals are. Offer help to them. And see, you know, maybe you find a business builder who didn't even know they wanted to pursue the business. But after talking to you, they realize that they do. And so how great is that? And when you're considering where to strategically place someone, make sure, you know, that you ask yourself, is this person a good leader? Are they going to be a good mentor to my friends that I have just enrolled? You know, I want them to be taken care of. So I'm going to I'm going to think about where I place my people. The other thing to consider, which is also not required, but I don't really like placing any of my people under 
mentors or sponsors. I don't like placing them unless that sponsor is spending a hundred on their ER every month because those people know the compensation plan. They realize they must spend a hundred dollars or 100 PV each month in order to reap the full commissions and bonuses. So I like to look at that and make sure that the person that I am considering to be the sponsor, that they are not only a good mentor, but that they're going to, that they are committed to doing the 100 ER every month. That's just my tip. Again, that's not necessary or required. It's just a tip of mine. So strategic placement. Um, let's talk about to summarize this, it's going to help me grow. It will help my downline grow. It can inspire downline members to pursue the business side, get to know who these people are, or it might, I guess, inspire them to pursue it even more. I have some people on my team who are kind of, kind of pursuing it, but not pedal to the metal people. But they are pursuing it. They're good mentors, and when they start to have more and more of a downline, you know, they're. Um, enrolling people here and there and I am strategically placing people so their downline is growing and when they start to see those big checks from Young Living I'm telling you what it weights their foot down <laughs> it's like some iron in their foot saying okay I see where this is headed I am ready to put the pedal to the metal and so many times strategically placing has actually inspired a person on my team to pursue the business even more and you know what? Strategic placement is easy to do. I've just shown you how to do it. It takes less than three minutes if you get into live chat you know, fast enough. So easy to do. It helps you build a solid foundation because, in my opinion, building really, really, really wide doesn't build that solid foundation like it does if you're building a good width base and you're growing deep. I think that is a really solid foundation. And so that's kind of what I look at when I am looking at my downline viewer. Now, here are some possibilities. Have y'all seen this? I mean, this is crazy. Um, distributor to senior star, that is um, so easy to do. I'm talking about like maybe if you do sell anybody in oil at retail price, but really distributor, if you are signing up just one person per month, with the premium starter kit, you are getting a minimum of 50 bucks. That's one person. You have, on average, 30 days out of the month. Can you get one person a month to do that? Simple, simple. You can totally do that. As you're growing up, anybody out there need $400 extra a month? How about $2,000 extra a month? Get to platinum. I keep meeting more and more people in the Young Living world, and even my friends who I have seen not only grow to silver, gold, platinum, I'm seeing my friends grow to diamond. What would you do with $20,000 a month? That is insane amazing. The possibilities are endless. So how much are you willing to pursue this? How, how heavy is your foot on that pedal? Because my foot is weighing a lot these days. I cannot wait to continue growing in this. Entrepreneurship, I love this. Entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. This is something that um, resonates really loud with me because when you are in something like a network marketing company like this, we are working maybe a lot more harder in the first few years with not as much reward. So we're at executive level or we're at silver level and we're working, we're leading, we're mentoring, we're teaching, and our checks come in and the checks are great, but they don't pay us for as much, um, as many hours as we're actually putting on the schedule. But you make that turn uh, um, to, to platinum and to diamond. And so after a few years of pushing really hard with not as much reward, you make that turn over that hill and you will be flying. You will be working still, but not near as hard and your rewards are going to be huge so that you can live the rest of your life like most people can't. So are you ready to spend a few years with the pedal to the metal? I know I am. 
So as always, um, check me out on Oil the Time on Facebook. Come hang out with me. I love posting testimonies, and I'm one of those that likes to make up funny graphics. I'm sure you'll get a, a laugh from that. My website is oilthetime.com. Love to have you come check me out there. And as always, be oily and be blessed.